Hello everyone, Watch This Review here with a look at the DC Universe classics, Mary Batson from the Dark Side Wave. Uh, right off the bat, I'll tell you that this package has a mild defect on it because the character is usually facing towards the um, front of the package, but I guess the head shifted in a box, so instead she's facing forward. That and other defect was why I really didn't want to pick this one up in stores, but unfortunately it was the last one that I've seen in quite a while. I mean, as soon as you need a figure, bam, nowhere to be found. Uh, Mary Batson is the sister of Billy Batson, better known as Captain Marvel, and as such has similar powers gifted to her by, I believe it's just the wizard Shazam, but could be mistaken. Mary Batson comes with a pin depicting, I guess, a red kryptonite-controlled Superman about to fight Captain Marvel, as well as the upper torso of Darkseid, which probably is the biggest draw for this figure, which also includes Darkseid's one accessory, his father box. Um, as for Mary Batson herself, uh, my figure, I believe, has several major defects. I don't know if all of them will be like this, but... Um, as a result of her being in box, I think just due to the rubber band, this one arm looks warped. Beyond that, the head actually does have a flaw where, for some reason, it just has like this rubber band effect where I kept trying to turn it, it would just um, pop right back towards the center. I'm not sure what's up with that, but it's just got a tremendous amount of resistance. And also, the one other defect I saw in pack where... There's some minuscule little speck of, I don't know what the heck it is, but it's like a darker color underneath the boot there. Now, um, I've had several opportunities to pick up the variant, but I really preferred this look for the character, the traditional red costume versus the white, so... I mean, I imagine I probably would have been better off had I just picked up the variant instead, but, you know, preference. As for the figure slash character, um, when I heard me doing a Mary Batson, I was just sort of happy for it because it is a character I recognize and, you know, it would have made a more interesting item, but uh, unfortunately, this is just a kind of horrendous figure. I mean, I guess the body is not too terrible or anything, it's just this head sculpt looks really, really bad. And again, it's not so much the hay head, but it is just the face here where it's got this really weird look. I don't know, it just, you know, I mean, in general, you know, this uh, incarnation of Mary Marvel here, or Mary Batson, whichever you prefer, looks more like a gangly teenager than anything else, but again, that's kind of crazy too, where Billy Batson goes from young boy to being this really buff dude who looks fully adult, and then Mary Batson really doesn't get the full thing half the time, but I don't know, it's just the face looks really horrendous. I guess that's the only real draw. I mean, the body sculpt is pretty decent. I like the upper torso, skirt area is fine. I guess the legs are okay. Arms are really thin, which probably is why they have a tendency to warp. And the cape is alright, decent looking sculpt here. Um, it's a soft, hard plastic, so... You can get some movement there, but it's molded in such a way that it's sort of flowing out behind her, I guess for flying positions. Again, the hair character's hair kind of impedes it, so the head won't go all the way up, so you can't get like a really awesome flying pose. And then, I mean, in general, the joints just seem to work against this character. Um... In terms of height, she's on the, well, I guess the newer of the teen scales for the line, whereas she's basically the same height as Superboy here, who doesn't stand very well in felt. To illustrate the difference in height, let's uh, just pop in Superman really quickly. So, I mean, it's not a huge difference in height, but it's like half a head shorter, if even. So, I mean, definitely... Uh, no issues there. Articulation wise, um, we have a rotating wrist, single joint elbow, but it's a really flimsy joint and for whatever reason it doesn't seem to go all that forward. In fact, it looks like it can twist more back than forward. 
which is just kind of odd, unless the arms somehow reversed in package. Or meant to be twisted around, but who knows. Now, the nice thing about the fact that she has upper sleeves is you don't get that really ugly um, bicep joint like a lot of the female figures have. It gives a much more natural look, so we have a point of rotation here at the bicep. Uh, shoulder is going to be kind of hard to move just because the arms are so thin and the piece connecting it feels like it might break. You're just fiddling around with it like that, so... See, probably a major issue actually. And of course the cape greatly impedes motion, so you can't get all the way up, although I don't think the joint extends all that far anyway. Head moves around a bit, but I don't think it's really intended to. Goes down a little, up a little, left, right. Now for some reason, mine looks like it has all these scrapes on the face, which is just one more stage of ugly. I'm not sure why it has like these scrapes, whether it's a defect where it went to package or something that happened before the that came along, but it's only really noticeable when you're really up close, but it's kind of got like a whole dark side look to it where it's got like this whole craggly appearance, which honestly is just one more step of ugly. I mean, I would return it, but nah, who cares? Um... Waist rotates. Legs are greatly impeded by the skirt. Uh, it's a really tighter material than the cape. The cape has more give to it, but I think it's just because it's connected more firmly around and it's the other parts holding in place, but you really can't get the legs to do anything for the hip area. It's probably a ball. I think it's a ball joint. I can't really tell. Then single joint knee, there's a rotation up here at the thigh, in addition to also having rotation at the calf, which you know is decent. I mean, you really do need calf rotation whenever you have a character wearing boots. And then we have a point here at the ankle. All in all, I think I got a really bad one, and so I mean most of them probably won't be as awful, but there's just so many weird design things with this that I, I'm not sure if they're designed flaws exactly or if, I don't know, it's just, I'm not even sure how the arms are supposed to go. And you know, that really bothers me a lot, but I don't know what to say other than that. I mean, lots of flaws to this. Uh, the actual head's face sculpt is just horrendous. I'm not sure how it even got this weird ass damage to it, but um, again, Bought it more for the dark side piece than anything else. Um, yes, yeah, so this has been a look at the Mary Batson from the DC Universe Classics. Until next time, folks.